Hey, hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to another game review. As I promised in my Chris Facebook group, I'll make another game review for a game I've been playing uh, recently and uh, that is For Honor guys. Yeah, uh, I've been playing this game recently, I finished it and I really liked it so I decided to make a review for it. So uh, I'm sorry it took a little time uh, to make this video but uh, here it is finally guys so if you want to know more about For Honor stay with me till the end of this video. Alright so For Honor is a third person game uh, created by Ubisoft back in 2016. Honestly this game was something I was immediately interested in back in 2015 when I saw it for the first time on E3. I think it was in 2015 correct me if I'm wrong but I think it was uh, 2015 and then game was released in 2016 so um, it was created by Ubisoft unfortunately I wasn't able to play this game until now because uh, I didn't own it but uh, Ubisoft uh, was giving it away for free a few months ago and that's actually how I grabbed it and played it uh, and uh, to be honest the campaign in this game was uh, pretty much all I was interested in but there is also multiplayer and bunch of other stuff and we'll come to that later but let's go to story of this game first and let's talk about that a little bit and before I start uh, one big spoiler alert across the screen in case you didn't play this game and you don't want to get spoiled and just skip this video or something but in case you are interested uh, in story of this game and uh, what I gotta say about it then uh, just stay with me alright so the campaign of this game is actually split uh, to uh, three factions uh, and with each faction you play their campaign so you have uh, Vikings, Knights and Samurai and you get to play through campaign with uh, every single faction a, a equal uh, amount of missions and story of this game is pretty simple but I really liked it personally and it's something uh, really cool in my opinion uh, so basically what's happening is that uh, there is uh, one woman called Apollyon and she is a leader of uh, Blackstone Legion and she actually decides to conquer lands of uh, a Viking, Samurai and Knights and uh, she actually brings war to them and then they, uh, they are forced to fight uh, each other and every faction is uh, in the story forced uh, to fight for themselves and to survive. She is actually a common enemy to all three factions, to Samurai, Vikings and uh, Knights. Uh, she's actually the main villain of, uh, of this game and uh, that's pretty much the whole story of this game so you have uh, one crazy woman uh, that has a really powerful army and she goes and conquers lands brings war to everyone uh, destroys their lands and everything so and then you have these uh, factions taking a revenge on her so so yeah story is very simple but very cool in my opinion and I really loved it so yeah, that's pretty much uh, about the story of this game. Alright, moving on to gameplay of this game. Uh, when I saw gameplay of For Honor for the first time on E3, I immediately liked that thing because uh, combat system and uh, controls and everything, it's, it's just different than any other game with swords and I really really like how they uh, did a gameplay and combat system so basically uh, you can uh, lock on an enemy and that's how you PvP in multiplayer and that's how you enter the combat in single player and everything that's pretty much everything is about moving a mouse uh, blocking uh, using the combination of uh, buttons on your mouse uh, and keyboard uh, to block all the attacks, to strike attacks. You have to be really dodgy, you have to think, especially in a multiplayer against other players. So the combat is quite challenging I would say and, and it's also smooth and it feels nice. It really feels like you're swinging a sword when you like move your mouse around in all directions. You just choose basically the direction you want to swing sword. You can change positions uh, of uh, strike. Uh, you can combine all different uh, kind of combos and everything. So it's it's really unique uh, combat system in my opinion, and that's something I really really liked about For Honor. Uh, that unique combat system and how everything works. Uh, it's uh, so fluid, it's, you can even use environment uh, around you to kill other players and uh, AI uh, in single player. Uh, there is so many things you have to watch out for in combat. It's not just 
moving around and swinging a sword you, you really have to be aware and you have to really be uh, quick and have that uh, quick reaction and respond time to all attacks and everything it's quite challenging basically and that's why I really love it it's, it's just unique combat system uh, you really have to like try it out to, to understand what I'm saying uh, until I didn't try it out I didn't thought it's gonna be uh, that cool but once you get your hands on it it's just completely different story you just really uh, like feel every swing of a sword I would say and everything like in the game you, you really feel into it so it really fits nice and uh, that combat system is just awesome it's honestly one of the best combat systems I ever seen and it's just very very cool alright moving on to multiplayer uh, multiplayer in this game was something I really wasn't interested in uh, my priority in this game was campaign and campaign was pretty much all I was interested in but I played uh, multiplayer a little bit and I gotta say uh, even though I'm not that interested into it uh, they did a fantastic job with it man they just did a great great freaking job with a multiplayer uh, you got a big map basically and you got all three factions you pick a faction you want to fight for and it's not like other games where it doesn't matter do you win or lose a game yeah that's not how for honor works in for honor every win or every defeat uh, your faction suffers or gets uh, has actually an impact on a map uh, where you fight for territory with other players with other factions and basically the more wins you have the more territory control you get uh, for your faction uh, the more troops you can deploy on a battlefield uh, so they really like make a little strategic map uh, where you can actually advance where you can like feel part of that army you can feel part that you are part of something that uh, your wins your skill matters values so everything you do uh, has uh, some value and some advantage for you, for your faction, for your teammates, for other players in your faction. So it's not just winning or losing a game where you don't get anything with it. Uh, it here you really have consequences if you uh, lose a match or win it. Uh, you have positive and negative impacts on everything you do so you'll always try to win and you'll be careful in those fights and everything you re it really feels like you are faction and one army uh, that fights for a territory control there is uh, many different game modes uh, you got like uh, three categories and each category has like uh, uh, game modes, you got uh, duels, you got uh, two versus two duels, you got that match, uh, four versus four, uh, that match. Uh, it, it's just uh, a lot of a lot of content in the multiplayer. Uh, then you got awesome customization menu, you, you can uh, buy your heroes, you can upgrade them, uh, you can upgrade their equipment, you can level them up, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, basically you can progress through a game and uh, you will really really feel that progression and you will really feel like part of something so I love uh, what they did with um, that multiplayer strategic map and how it works uh, if you ever played uh, uh, Planet Side 2 on Steam which is actually free first person futuristic shooter and it's also basically a game where you pick a faction and fight uh, for a territory so that's pretty much how uh, For Honor works uh, just you enter a match and then either you win or lose that match uh, either you lost a duo or a two versus two duo or whatever like game mode you picked it will it will have positive or, or negative impact depending by uh, you lose or you win uh, that match uh, you can also play with your friends so you can do so many different things in multiplayer they really stepped it up and they really wanted a player to feel like part of some community or something so that's something i personally really liked and uh, multiplayer honestly in this game is one uh, one really interesting thing and uh, one of the best things I uh, seen in games like this so it's just one of the 
best uh, multiplayers uh, so far because it, it really makes you keep going uh, it doesn't make game boring it doesn't make it feel same anytime you can uh, switch faction and you can go and fight for other faction uh, you got uh, different seasons uh, every time like war is over another season starts new content is added to a game or something uh, I'm not really sure correct me if I'm wrong but I think it is so they really still work on this game uh, they recently also announced uh, another DLC that I think it's also already out for For Honor they announced it on E3 this year so they really work on this game still and everything is really going on they're really stepping things up and making it even better yeah they, they just really really make this game even greater and better so that's what I really like about it then you got a simple profile menu where you can like customize your tag or whatever you can also choose from many different uh, <laughs> types of drawings uh, of your tag you can pretty much customize everything colors uh, uh, there is so many cosmetic items, so many items, attachments you can put on your weapons, uh, body armor, and each of these have like their uh, little RPG system. Uh, each of them gives you uh, either maybe speed or uh, more block uh, power or more damage power or whatever. A every item in game has uh, their own uh, characteristics. Uh, and it can be upgraded anytime so it's just really really a lot of content and something I really love there's also store menu that's a place where you can buy uh, skins you can buy uh, premium access uh, you get uh, more items and stuff and uh, it's just basically microtransaction system which again I dislike I dislike that in any game I just really don't love that kind of stuff uh, because I think they should make it uh, equal for everyone but alright that's just my opinion uh, then you got the group menu uh, you can play with friends over there you can invite them and play together any game mode and multiplayer you want so I love really the design of, uh, of everything uh, menu is very simple everything is uh, really uh, simple it's just one of the best uh, medieval games uh, I ever played if not even the best honestly it's just very very cool uh, so yeah that's pretty much about the gameplay and multiplayer of this game uh, about uh, customization and that kind of stuff so let's move on to optimization and graphics of this game and I can say for sure that For Honor is one pretty game uh, textures are really clean there are always some cool effects uh, in the background of this linear world uh, especially in uh, big battles and when you are fighting you can see uh, arrows flying around you, you can see AI fighting other AI, you can see these uh, small enemies uh, fighting each other, you can actually fight them as well, uh, you can see other bigger enemies uh, fighting next to you, uh, fighting bigger other enemies and other AI, so they really thought of everything, even effects uh, can hurt you, because in most of the games these days uh, all these cool effects are just cosmetics and they can't do any damage to you, but in For Honor if you're not careful, uh, you can actually get hurt by these effects, uh, and they'll be indicated on the ground where the effect's gonna land, and you can get hit by those fire burning arrows or uh, catapult fireballs or whatever, uh, so environment can be also dangerous not just cosmetics in this game as a, and as I said it can be used as a weapon uh, you can push enemies off the ledge you can push them on the spikes either in multiplayer or uh, single player it doesn't matter it all works the same and uh, it's really cool how uh, they made the design and uh, how everything looks like feels like it's just it's just very awesome sounds are really clean uh, they sound cool it's just really really cool thing and it really makes you feel like you're in some medieval battle and on medieval battlefield so I really love it uh, this game it's a Ubisoft game and surprisingly very very surprisingly actually works amazing it's just great optimization of this game is awesome I ran it on all ultra settings in uh, 60 FPS so with no problems without a single 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 frame drop nothing 
it's clean as fuck like not a single little frame drop was ever experienced maybe in cutscenes sometimes but uh, that's uh, because it was a uh, loading chunks and environment and uh, that lasts for a few seconds just goes away and it never appears ever again in that mission uh, that's the only thing I uh, realized uh, where it's when it's frame dropping uh, maybe it's, uh, in some cutscenes but it doesn't last long but this game just works perfectly beautifully on all ultra settings like I said 60 FPS constantly is just amazing again uh, it's not an open world game it's a linear game uh, but it's still a Ubisoft game uh, which brings me to conclusion that uh, obviously they have really big problems with open world games uh, even though Far Cry is an open world game and it also works perfectly uh, but uh, other Ubisoft games like Watch Dogs and uh, Assassin's Creed they have really really big issues on the FX series of processors which is also one that I use uh, so if you want to know I ran this game on uh, R7 374 gigabytes uh, AMD MSI uh, graphics card and I ran it on FX 8320 uh, 3.50 gigahertz uh, CPU 8 core black edition 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, Kingston Fury uh so yeah these are the specs i ran this game on and it worked perfectly in 60 fps and i just still can't understand that they can't optimize these uh, larger games like assassin's creed and Watch Dogs. uh obviously they have some uh, issues uh, with uh, my series of processors uh but uh, some of their games like for honor and far cry they just work perfectly for some reason again for Honor is not an open world game, it's a linear game and I honestly like that more because I'm kinda getting tired of these uh, open world games uh, constantly every time we get some open world games and I really am a big fan of uh, linear games I'm really more of a fan of linear games than open world games but uh, I guess open world games are pretty much what people want these days so that's what they deliver us but I would really love to see more uh, Ubisoft games, like more linear Ubisoft games in future like this because this was just one awesome journey in my opinion and if you love medieval games and if you want those like sword fights and you really want to feel those sword fights either in single player or, or a multiplayer with a quite good story try out for honor you're not gonna regret it it's a, it's a great game I really loved it it's it's one cool thing just check it out and uh, yeah I think that's it actually I got nothing to say anymore about this game uh, that's pretty much it I think maybe I missed something if I do tell me down below in the comments but I think that's uh, pretty much it this was again just my opinion you don't have to agree with it or whatever Comment down below, uh, what do you think about this uh, game, about this review, let me know down below in the comments, uh, leave your feedback. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, share, comment or subscribe if you want, uh, it will really mean a world for to me. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. Also, you can ask me any questions on my ask.fm or down below in the description and you can join my Chris Facebook group also if you want and follow me over there uh, all these links are down below in the description so yeah this is another Chris review for For Honor this time and I'll definitely see you in the future guys uh, with uh, more games, more gameplays, more uh, reviews and stuff like that so yeah I guess I'll see you soon guys and I love you I wanna tell you thank you for all the support so far I really appreciate it I love every and single one of you uh, and I really want to say one big thank you for everything. Uh, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next videos and Chris out.